Good morning, this is Tom. Hey, I got something I'm going to show you. I'm working on a cylinder head. Let's see if I can reverse it. Oh, I can't reverse the video. Anyway, I've got a head I'm working on right here that uh, has had rust. I've, I've baked it, I've shot blasted it, and you can see there's some rusty scale inside these ports. A little bit, not too bad. But I want to try to save this head. If you look, it has two valves that are stuck in it. They are seized up. And just to give you an example, they don't budge. And I don't want to wreck this head. I'm going to try to save it. So what I'm going to do, this is what I'm working on. You see the tank it's sitting on here? It's a barrel. Okay, and I got three of them sitting here. I'm going to take this barrel. It's full of molasses and water. And the, the solution for it is one part molasses and seven parts water. So it's basically a 55 gallon drum with seven gallons of molasses in it, the rest of it's water. And I'm gonna dunk it in here. I'm gonna come back in one week. I'm gonna pull it out and see if these valves come out of the head at that point in time. And we'll see how the scaly rust works out for us. The molasses works good to do that. Talk to you later, bye. This is part two of the, the other video. And uh, this is the molasses and how it works to attack rust. Now that you can see that this head is flash rusted. It's because once you take it out of the molasses, it is bare metal, shiny, just like bare cast. It eats all the rust. It continues eating on the thick rust. So on this particular head, it had thick rust, especially in some of the exhaust ports, like right here and here. And this rust actually came off after I've taken it out of the molasses and what I do is I take it out of molasses and I power wash it. And most of it dissolves and, and blows away with the power wash process. But this is real thick. I actually just chipped it off. It came off real easy. And you can see some pieces that came off right here. But this valve was stuck. And this valve was stuck. And they were stuck so hard that you couldn't move the valves. But after soaking in molasses, what it does is it works up the valve guide... And I've baked this head so there was no oil left in it. So all that rust was dissolved along the valve stems. They didn't slide out real easy. You can see the head is broke off. This That's because I had hit this prior with a hammer and it fatigued it. But then working it harder, it came out. You can see how rusty that valve is. It's pretty rusty. And so this valve stem, or the valve guide, you can see how rusty that one is. And you see the rust along its surface there. And the tip did break as I was pounding it out. But these did pound out with a with hammer. And the way I usually do it is I take two hammers. And I know your taught shop class do not hit two hammers on each other. What I do is I put one hammer on the valve stem. And I hit it with the other hammer. That way I don't bend the tip of the valve. If you hit directly under the valve, you'll bend the tip of the valve, it won't go through. So I hit this hammer with another hammer. And once it's into the valve guide, then I use a large punch and push them through all the way to get, get them out. So push them out all the way. So just to show you that molasses, these are a bunch of valves. All these valves were stuck in heads. So here's one of the heads that was rusty, and, and this is a, a guinea pig head. It's it's got a broken rocker stud completely, but the boss is broke off. So this head's going to be used in the CNC machine as just test fodder, which is too bad because it's a nice looking head. And then I have another one sitting right over here. And the flash rust will be taken care of. These go through the shot blaster next, cleaned up, and then we pressure check them, mag them, and uh, there'll be heads for going out. Talk to you later. So this is molasses. Also, if I have a, uh, a block that's seized up, I will bake that block, bake the oil out of it. So the oil's gone. I'll take that block and I'll throw it in the molasses barrel. You can see the molasses barrels over there. I'll throw it in there and I'll come back in a week and those pistons will beat out of the cylinder bores. Whereas if you try to do that before when the rust is really present, you'll break the block. But if you wait till after the molasses works, the pistons will slide out of the block. Not super easy because they have had a lot of junk around them but they will slide out. Talk to you later. Bye.